So I'm just going to show you some simple animation using some gears here. Uh, so what it should like when we're, look like when we're all done, said and done here, uh, I'm going to come up here. I can right click. I'm going to animate. Uh, I'm going to go 0 to 360 degrees, and I'm going to do this as a loop. I'm going to hit play, and what you're going to see is I have two gears that now uh, are animated and move using this. Now, I'm going to stop this, and we're going to start from scratch to kind of show you how I built all of this. Now, the way that we're going to go about doing this is, you can see I'm doing this in another part studio. I'm going to create a sketch, and I'm going to create that uh, sketch on my front plane. I'm going to grab my circle tool, and I'm going to make a 5-inch gear here. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and grab my center point circle tool again, and I'm going to line up with the center here. And I want to go to where my center line intersects with my outside of my circle. And I'm going to make this 0.25 inches. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my arc tool. And I'm just going to fabricate my arc for my gear here. Now I'm going to set this value. Let's go to... Let's go to a 0.19. And again, depending on the cure I'd be making, I'd go and do math to find this. But because I'm going to want to mirror this, because I want it to line up the same, I'm going to make sure I have a vertical line here. And then I'm going to come to my mirror tool. I'm going to select this line to mirror off of. I'm going to select this line to be mirrored. And you can see then, if I zoom here, I now have that mirrored entity. Now that I've had it mirrored, I want to be able to repeat this pattern. So what I found works best is if I come through and I'm going to hold down and I want to select all of my lines here. I'm going to select those and then I'm going to come up here to my circular pattern. And the default on this is three, which is fine. I can accept that. Uh, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change it for this gear to 40. So I've repeated that pattern uh, 40 times. I'm going to click on my extrude button. I'm going to choose that interface of this. So again, I want to choose that interface of that sketch. I'm going to get rid of the circle. So all I want is that inside, and I'm going to make this gear 0.25 inches. So we can see that general shape. Uh, I'm going to lay a sketch down on that face again. I'm going to grab my center point circle tool, and this time just to give that cutout to the gear itself, I'm going to make a 4.375 inch circle. Uh, from the center, I'm going to make another circle. On this one, I'm going to have 0.75 inches. And now I'm going to come to my extrusion. I'm going to do a removal, and I'm going to do a removal of 0.1. Now, in a true gear, I would mimic this on the other side as well, but for this purposes, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to place a sketch in that center because my gear needs a hole. So I'm going to come here, and I'm just going to simply make it 0.5 inches. And I'm going to do an extrusion as a removal. So you can see I have that gear uh, mimicked up really nice now. Uh, I'm going to hide this part. And the next thing I need to do is just create a bearing for my gear. So I'm going to come on the front right here. And I'm going to draw a point six inch circle. I'm going to extrude that. Point one. I'm going to place another sketch. This time I'm going to make that circle 0. 0.5. And I'm going to extrude that 0. 0.25 inches. So I have this right here. So 